If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how can note taking be used to improve performance by using linking codes. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the next generation note taking and planning technique. I've been helping people to manage knowledge for the past 20 years. As always, I've uh, used Smart Wisdom here, Smart Wisdom Planning, to create an outline of what I wanted to cover. So linking codes. What do I mean by a linking code? A linking code is a simple code that you use to connect information. So imagine you're in a one hour presentation and you spot a link between what somebody says after 45 minutes to what was said after 20, to what was said in the first five, and you want to link those three things together. So how did I used to do it? Well, I've tried many things, but one of them was uh, like using different shapes. So for example, I'll show you a couple. You know, I use like stars, or I use crosses. The problem with that, there was no consistency. So I'd forget what shape I was using. And then I'd end up with just a page full of stars and crosses. And the whole thing became unintelligible. So I tried various different methods, using arrows, using lines, sort of connecting the two, you know. And if I was in a meeting where there was a lot of knowledge which could be linked together, I'd end up with something that looks a bit like a spaghetti junction. You know, it'd be sort of like all this business and then, and there'd be something down here and then maybe something over here. And it looked a mess. It was difficult to use the knowledge real time and it didn't look professional. So I was thinking to myself, I need to come up with a, a coding system that's really simple, really clear, and really fast to use. Now, as an information athlete, I know that when managing knowledge, to make something stand out, you need to come up with a shape or a format that's different to what you're normally doing. So text is in the letters, or in characters if you're using you know, Chinese or Japanese. Um, so I need to come up with a shape that's different to that. And I came up with something really simple, wait for it, a circle. Now, I know that's similar to an O, but it's the only letter that, where there's a sort of slight comparison. Now, the next thing that I needed to do is, let's say if I'm in a really important client meeting and I'm looking to help make connections between what they're saying looking for sort of similarities, opportunities, risks. And there are six separate links that I've made. How am I going to manage that? And I sort of tried various things. And what I came up with, breathtakingly simple, use the alphabet. So the first set of links would be A. The second set of links would be B, C, and so on. Now, the advantage of using letters within the circles, it meant that I never repeated the same code. And actually, even if there were like six or seven series, you know, within an hour's meeting or an hour's presentation, it was really easy to keep on top of it. The final piece of the jigsaw was, well, what happens if, let's say, within each series there are five links? How do I manage that? And again, the solution was really simple. And this is what I did. So your first, the source would be A1, then the next link would be A2, then the next one would be A3, and so on. B1, B2, B3, B4, and so on. So by coming up with this system, I had solved the, the challenge of being able to link information um, at many points across many series. Really simple, but very powerful and good fun to use. Now, why does this give me a competitive edge? Really simple. So people who sit and listen, they've got no chance. The reason being is that it's the way our brains are designed. We can only hold so much information and it's just impossible to hold more than that. And particularly like in a moment. So in any particular moment, I might be able to bring to my mind maybe three, four, five bits of information, 
More than that, it's a struggle. However, with Smart Wisdom, because I have glance access to it, I've got access to 30 or 40 bits of information like that. A huge competitive edge. For people who use traditional note-taking, school note-taking, um, what I would say is the fact that you're recording information, fantastic. Um, I believe that this system you know, could be really helpful. Uh, please do use it. The only thing I'd say is if it requires too much thinking um, and imposes sort of extra load, uh, becomes too much, then stop. But I think over time, you'll get used to, get used to doing it and find it really useful. As for laptop users, I'm afraid you're at a disadvantage again because there's no automatic way of creating these by using a laptop because you're restricted by, by the keys. The second problem is how would you move quickly? So how would you move quickly across the, the information that you've collected because you'd have to use the mouse, you'd have to click the mouse within a set sentence, you'd have to place the code, then you'd have to try and find the next place. And remember, by deciding to use a laptop, you're restricting the amount you can see to about, you know, in a demanding meeting, a quarter of what I can see. So as you can see, a really simple way to get a competitive edge and the coding's good fun to use and it feels really, really satisfying and you're on top form by being able to make all these links and take advantage of them. So thank you for watching this video on how to use note taking to improve performance, specifically by using coding systems to make links and connections. If you've liked this video, then please click like um, always feel free to, you know, put some comments in. And of course, please do share with friends, you know, cl colleagues, clients who are interested in, you know, increasing performance, particularly in meetings or looking for a easy, and I think it is a really easy competitive edge. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a brilliant rest of the day. Ah, and finally, remember, uh, if you, or I should remember rather, um, I've got some free tips for you. If you go somewhere around the video, you will find a link. And if you click on that link, uh, you will get the free tips on how to, well, some more free tips on how to manage information effectively. Thank you very much.